TV blogger asked, is it okay that Taika saved the whole Thor trilogy with Ragnarok? Yes, it bloody well is. <laughs> Taika directed and starred in Thor Ragnarok. Uh, he played Korg, uh, the rock monster with a uniquely New Zealand accent. If you still can't place him, this is the first time we meet Korg. What made you decide on that accent for that character? Well, that's my accent. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, this is the accent I put on when I come to London. Right. Uh, <laughs> just so you can understand me. But this is actually my normal accent, uh, bro, whenever I'm uh, around my real friends. Oh. Right, Stephen? Yeah. Never heard of uh, that. The accent, uh, I wanted to do... In, uh, in New Zealand, we have, uh, like, a lot of, um, a lot of bouncers from... Uh, the Polynesian bouncers, and that's their accent. Giant, giant, hulking, hulking yeah. uh, dudes who... Um, but with very delicate souls, very, very <laughs> lovely people, very, very special people. And when you go up to... And that's how they talk. So, you know, it's very intimidating when you go up to, you know, try and get into a nightclub. You can say, oh, can I come to this club? And they go, hey, oh, sorry, uh, yeah, we're at capacity tonight, my friend. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, so tonight's not your night, maybe try again another night. <laughs> <laughs> it's very hard to, like, figure out what to do in that situation. <laughs> yeah, like, do you pick a fight with them? Because their voice really like, just, just betrays exactly like, who they are. And so, <laughs> um, yeah, you, it's, that, they end up breaking a lot of legs and a lot of... Uh, <laughs> um, but... Now, the legendary Stan Lee did pass away last week, and we did mention him on the show. And he, the thing he, about Stan was... He, the thing he was most proud of with, was all the cameos that he did in those, right. those films. Apart from all the, the characters and the universes that he created, he, the thing he, he loved the most was being part of these, these films. And, yeah, he was the most lovely person. Korg is probably the biggest celebrity in New Zealand. Yeah, I, I, I have to agree with you. <laughs> <laughs> so, here's my question. If he is running for Prime Minister and he could be the next Prime Minister, what would Korg's policies be? Well, Korg's policies? Korg's policies. I mean, he's made of rocks, so, you know, he's a very... He's a pro-rock guy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I mean, first and foremost... First and foremost, uh, Adam, uh, I think the thing that we need to do is stamp out uh, all the, the paper that's um, <laughs> plaguing our country at the moment and, um, and be a bit more lenient on the scissor immigration. Because <laughs> um, they pose no threat to us. <laughs> pose no threat to us. Are they, and then Korg's, uh, yeah, instead of a catchphrase, instead of a little stupid dance, yeah. it's something <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. You have the dynamite thing, though, in, in Australia when you play... It. There was a little offshoot of, of rock, paper, scissors. Instead of uh, rock, paper, or scissors, you could also add dynamite. Anyone, oh. you anyone get that one? And then, no? did that win everything? Yeah, well, well no. Kind of ruined well, the dynamite, game. Dynamite, you get, you, <laughs> dynamite, you get clipped by scissors. Yeah. Dynamite can also blow up a rock, and I think it was neutral with paper. Right. And this, I mean, I'd love to say... <laughs> this you didn't have brilliant. that in Australia? No, I'm just looking at Alex. You have that in Australia? No, we didn't. Racist. <laughs> <laughs> but, and now Alex is sad because you can't do any of them. <laughs> I can't even do the <laughs> fucking dynamite. Remember when you said you wanted to do a play because you found uh, touring and doing stand-up very lonely? Very lonely. Are you it's joking? Very, yeah, yes. Oh, it's your tour no. support. <laughs> I find it lonely and depressing. 